Yes, if you're just joining me, we have to get Yorda to uh, come with us. So we just push two crates through each of these windows. And there's a... I'll show you first before we head over there. A ledge over here where we need to go. Because it's going to take us around and um, up to this chain. So that's where we need to go. So we're going to take... This crate or block or whatever. Apparently, forget how to hold it. Put it here. Or you can push, doesn't matter. Same difference. Okay. Now, don't take your time because Yorda will get grabbed. As soon as you leave a room that she is in without her, come on. Come on, pick up. Okay. Now this is going to take to a room, us to a room where, um, well, it's going to take us back into the room she's in. But we're just going to be really far up above her. stairs. Careful not to fall off the ledge, because I like to do that. And out the door. Don't get stuck on the door frame. Okay. There's our pipe, and you will see Yorda. Oh, wait a minute. I'll show you. Instead of making you car sick by moving the camera around. Oh, she's right there. Okay, good. She's waiting for me. She's hard to see sometimes. Okay, so we'll need this chain, but not just yet, because I need to get across. Yorda, I swear on my life. needs to be standing on that damn thing. There we go. Okay. And now clearly what you want to do is rush and not bother with the enemies because you've got a door right there. I think it's funny that a lot of walkthroughs tell you to kill the enemies. You really don't have to when there's a door sitting right there. But we do want to rush because we want to grab her. Especially when you don't have the sword. I mean, it takes forever to kill the enemies. It just makes sense. So you really, really want to kill them. You're more than welcome to. Alright, continuing through the castle. There's another door for us to open. Sunlight. Hold on one second. Here is um, a new area that we're going to be going to, and this will be my first sword. So that's how I'm going to get that bridge to go down. Now you have to do two of these towers. There's one on the other side as well, and they're not really that difficult. They're time consuming, but they're not difficult. East. I think they're called arenas, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not positive. Lots of enemies as well. And unfortunately, not enough doors to really help you out. 
Actually, I don't think there are any dwarfs now I'm thinking about it. Okay, Yorda will go in without me. Now, I believe a small cutscene will take place in here. Yep. <clears throat> so what we need to do is we need to... There's my sword. I need that so badly. Um, what we need to do is open these big circle thing to And that can be obnoxious, especially if you don't remember what you're doing. Come on. Okay, there's a staircase for us to go up. Oh, and a safe point. Oh, and enemies. The important thing about the sword is that you need the sword to progress so um you do get trapped for a little bit when you go to pick the sword up is that all okay okay we're gonna save Here we have, you can't really see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're just going to have to take my word for it. There's a rope up there, but whatever. Okay. I'll just, up, 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 up. Okay. Now we have a lot to do in this room, because here's a third thing that we have to open. And you see there's this big thing to do in the middle here. Hopefully Yorda's not following me down, because she's not. Okay. And this part right here will turn into a staircase. Um, I just need to remember. Come on, Yorda, really? Really? Okay. Now after this some shadows are gonna appear and uh Unfortunately I don't have a choice but to kill them. bombard you with enemies in a sense that when the portals appear that you get a ton, I mean you get a modern amount to kill, it's just there's a lot to kill. Or whatever he's doing to them. There's a lot to whack. And once you get the sword, oh boy does it make a difference with combat. My noob, my noob, Matt, me, bro. Okay, while I'm going up the stairs, I'm going to see who sent me a text message. Uh, 
That's my boyfriend. Okay, he's a Flyers fan, and he lost a, uh... I live in Pittsburgh. He lost a bet, and he has to wear a Penguins jersey to bowling tonight. Okay. A light. Oh. Oh. Okay, um... There are some torches here. But, okay, finally. Jeez, I don't know why he wasn't... It's not a... Light that one. Light that one. Light it. And I have a phone call, so we're gonna stop here.